there! My name is Vex, and welcome back, one and all, to Final Fantasy IX, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching this series up to this point. In the last episode, we made it to... Oh, I don't know what to call this place. Uh, we're obviously headed to Mount Gulag, but I don't know what this specific place is called. It's a little town. Well, like an inside town sort of thing. Um, that separates us from Mount Gulag. So we're gonna explore it. Let's talk to everybody. Hi. I get cold so easily. I wish it were warmer here. Wait, yeah, that's a grammatical error, right? I wish it was warmer here. I wish it were warmer here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's wrong. I don't know. Hello. The bishop sometimes hears voices from the Path of Souls. Yeah, don't know what the Path of Souls is just yet. Maybe I'll figure it out. How can I help you? Well, let us see. Gladius, no. Zorlin Shape, no. Diamond Sword, no. Flame Saber. We have 30,000 gold. Okay, we have quite a lot. Yeah, we'll buy that. Heavy Lance, we'll buy that, even though Freya's not in our party right now. Scissor Fangs, no thank you. We're not using Amaranth, unfortunately. Magic Racket, we already have. Asura's Rod. Holy Rod, Elemental Attack, Holy. Okay, I think we want that. Ooh, Hamlin, that's cool. Um, I think Hamlin, or something that sounds like that, was a story about uh, Piper, like the Rat Piper. I think he used a flute to, like, get all his... Like, get all these rats under his control. So, I think that may be a reference to that. Anyways, we'll buy a source rod, a cypress pile, octagon rod. I, I think I'm just gonna buy the more expensive one. I don't really know what to do for these mages. Obviously, also, we have a crazy amount of stuff that we need to sell. Um, yeah. Ooh, more black hoods. I'm not gonna mess with any of this stuff. I think we're good for now, to be honest. Uh, should I, though? Uh, this stuff is really expensive. We're definitely going to have to sell if we want to utilize these things. Okay, let's go down to here and see if we need anything. Nope. Okay. Cool beans. Thanks. Come again. I do want to sell, but I don't want to have it right after an episode where we just went through everybody. Because that stuff takes so much time out of the episode. Uh, so I just want to, like, space them out. Where we buy things and where we sell things and where we equip things and where we run through our abilities. But, regardless, um, I don't think we had an upgrade to... Uh, Zidane. We definitely had one for here, though. I think it was the Octagon Rod. Yes, indeed. Uh, for Steiner, we have the Flame Saber. And for Dagger, we have the Asura's Rod. Cool beans. Alright, that's everybody. Now, let's talk to these people. Gat says we're here to see the Path of Souls, but I don't see it anywhere. Young man, don't you think the bishop is a right fine man? I don't know. Why are you why are all you people out here in the middle of nowhere? Better be worth it. Also, better be a surprise back here. Aha! Wing Edge. Don't know what that means. It's always fun playing JRPGs and trying to figure out what the hell you just picked up. Uh, let's look for the wing edge. It sounds like a, a weapon. Wing edge, wing edge, wing edge, wing edge. I might have passed it. Wing edge, wing edge. Okay, I did not see it. I'm gonna run through the left side real quick. Looking for a wing edge or winged edge or something like that. Oh, there we go. Aha! Throwing weapon more powerful than the rising sun. It is used with the command throw and cannot be equipped. Um, so from what I understand, only Amaranth can use thrown weapons right now, but I'm pretty sure we can teach it to other people, especially Zidane, who's also sort of like a thief. New people. He's the seventh in a long line of bishops. I didn't ask, but that's cool, I guess. Everything's so crazy recently. Tell me about it. The Shimmering Island is the Path of Souls, you know. Okay, so it's the same thing. They say this place is holy. Well, I would hope so. Welcome to Esto Gaza. The stars are the source of all life. We receive life from the stars and live our lives with them. This is the only place, this is the one place, holy enough to worship the path of souls, the way of the shimmering island. Pilgrims come from afar to follow the path of souls. But you see, soon after the black mages came, terrible monsters appeared here. Thanks to them, very few people come to visit nowadays. Would you care to rest here for a hundred gil? Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure we're all full health and full MP, but just in case we're not, 100 gil is a drop in the bucket compared to what we just dropped on all of that equipment. Okay, we have not talked to this old man. 
The glow of the Shimmering Island is proof that it is home to the Path of Souls. Well, I can't wait to see what the hell you all are talking about, because as of now, I have no clue. Hello, Mogrika. Unless you have a letter for me, I don't think I have a letter for you. I got a letter this morning, but I don't know who sent it. I'm scared, Koopo. Read it with me. From Artemision to Mogrika. Mogrika! I'm in trouble. I use too much. Do you have more? You don't, do you? Oh, what am I gonna do? I told Artemision not to use it. To use what? What is going on? I want you to deliver a letter to Mulan. Okay. Thanks, Koopa. We're gonna have to find a Disney movie. Ha ha ha! Okay, uh, let's go ahead and save the game here. I always like it where they have their, their pink little bikinis as Moogles. Wait, is it bikini? Because from the back there, I just saw that it was a vest. Have, do I just have an extremely dirty mind? I can swear it looks like a bikini, right? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, I think it wants us to go down here, so before we do that, let's head to the uh, little viewpoint here. Hello, birds. Don't worry, I'm not going to fight you. I have other things to fight. Okay, well, we can see a view of that little iceberg over there. Uh, I'm assuming that's where we want to go? Don't really know. But we shall see. I'm assuming the monster fights start here, or maybe not, because we're headed inside another location. Mount Gulag. Looks a bit like uh, Old Town. I think that's what it was called in the original Dark Souls. Everybody's favorite location, including mine. Loved it so much. <laughs> Kill me. All right. Let's head up here. Don't want to miss anything, but this is starting to branch off in a way that I do not like. So many opportunities for different things. Oh boy, yes. Okay, I'm assuming there's going to be monsters here. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to be... Wait, 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 wait. Can we go through here? No. Um, I also want to be very thorough and find all of our items. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to pick a direction, basically. Let's go to the right, since we're here now. Oh! Okay. I don't know what that was either, Zidane, but it gave me a little startle. A game like this should not give you startles like that. What do we have? What the world? Oh, this is a ladder. Okay. Or a rope. Okay. Pull the lever. Pull up, pull down. Uh, let's pull it down. Okay, how about up? Neither one seems to do anything, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Quite odd music to have for this section. Not really a location you would think for this type of music. I, I don't think, but okay, sure. We have a, another Moogle here. Hi. Mulan! Oh, I have a letter for you, Mulan. A letter from Magrika. Thanks, Kubo. Yeah, no problem. From Magrika to Mulan, Artemision rubbed it all over himself. The machine needs it to function properly, Kubo. I know how he must have felt. I used it on myself once, too. It's a wonderful thing, but... I see. That's why we haven't been receiving mail lately, Koopo. Yeah? I have a favor to ask, Koopo. I want you to deliver a letter to Magtaka. Okay? Thanks, Koopo. Yeah, no problem. Okay, um... I guess we should save here. I was gonna say, we don't have to save... until around the end of the episode, but might as well be saved just in case I royally mess up and get my whole party killed. But I feel like I'm in a good spot, uh, especially with Vivi learning Fyraga and whatever else with those items. I think we're, uh, we're doing pretty good here. All right, let's continue this way. I've noticed it's not really that big of a deal finding all the items anyways. Um, and I really don't like to do it, I guess, in a Let's Play. If the Let's Play, if the particular game has random encounters. We did a lot for the start of the Let's Play. But nowadays, it's just... It's it, it, None of it has been worth it, basically. Like, none of it. So, I don't know. I think we'll just keep moving on. Wilton Board. I heard you should pull the lever down a second time. Une the Mole. Okay. Well, I believe I did try to pull it twice, but maybe I pulled it down once and then up twice. I'm not sure. Either way, we have a new enemy here. Well, I assume it to be a new enemy. And it looks like it is. So like I said, you don't want to use the uh, wind stuff 
on flying enemies, although I'm not sure if these things are considered flying. They are in the air. It guarded my physical attack. Let's see, what do we have here? Blizzaga and Thundaga. Um, I think Thunder might be all elemental effects. Whoa. Really? Okay. Well, I think that means everybody is not going to be able to use magic. Looks like these things are fire elemental. That missed. It looked like it hit, but I'll take it. Sure. Damn it! Okay, that's right. All right, so I believe when Dagger has a weapon that looks like uh, the one that she does, the, the icon in the weapons menu, that means that she's going to heal people. So we need to start attacking our own party members. Looks like these things guard and uh, evade physical attacks quite well which is going to make them super duper annoying. Well, good luck with the counter attacks. Really wanted Vivi to end him right there. That would be great. Okay, Vivi guarded against Dagger's heal attempt. Let's see if this lava gun lands this time around. No, okay, interesting. Can you die? I need you to die, dude on the left. Thank you, appreciate that. Okay. Vivi's damage is scaling nicely. Why are we guarding? <laughs> Why are you guarding Dagger's attempt to heal you? Well, this is a really annoying fight. All of Vivi's attacks are landing. All of Vivi's physical attacks are landing. And I guess I just can't hit Vivi with this thing. Anyways, what I was trying to say was, it seems like Dagger can equip two sort of different types of items. One seems to be more offensive, and one seems to be more heal-oriented. And, uh, if it's the heal-oriented icon, it's going to heal if we physically attack. So, that's what's going on there. This thing's gonna use another new attack called Mustard Bomb. Uh, anytime there's a big animation, you just sort of have to wait and cross your fingers and hope that it doesn't deal. Okay. What did she do? It's glowing red now. I'm not sure if that's a status effect or what. Maybe if you wait too many turns, Vivi explodes and deals damage to your whole party. Maybe that's what's going on. Alright, moving on. Let's head back to that well and pull the lever down twice, which I should have known. It was one or the other. Okay, down once. No, damn it! Ugh. Okay, down once. Down once again. Down once again? Okay, interesting. Let's head downwards now? Oh my god! That was really loud. Is this a boss fight? No. It's playing normal attack music. That was extremely loud. All right, more flying enemies. What's all the flying enemies lately? All right, hopefully we'll fare better against these guys. Let's go ahead and summon Rama on these red dragons. Command fit. Ah, dagger. Okay, not sure what any of these things do. It makes all near death party members attack. It reduces the enemy's magic. They just healed somebody. Draws out the hidden power and thief swords. They just flat out put Steiner. Wow. Whoa, are they dealing? Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Well, hopefully they won't continue to do that. Let's use Thundaga on these guys. On both of them. And then you are definitely going to have to cure the Dane. They just did a crazy amount of damage, but I don't think that they can sustain that damage. Okay, that deals a decent amount. Yeah, it might just be a thing where they do that at the start, and then you just sort of have to wait it out. Okay, Cura fully heals our party. Well, a party member. Mm, it's not the same thing, is it? Oh my gosh. Okay, that didn't seem to do too much. Right, you guys need to die, like, now. Now we can see how much this actually does. Okay, it, yeah, okay. Uh, let's use life on Steiner. Wow, you guys are still dead. Oh my gosh. Alright, these guys are going to be tough. But if, obviously they broke through the wall. 
so maybe these guys are a little bit more tough than the usual. Dude, they are not dying. Twister, that was the thing that kills my whole party, isn't it? We might actually die in this fight. Okay. Well, actually, Vivi seems invulnerable to these guys' stuff. He has something on him that uh, absorbs thunder or absorbs wind. Zidane's about to enter trance. They better die on this Thungaga because, wow, they have a lot of health. Okay, one's down. Really want to save that trance. No, don't. Okay, good. Don't activate his trance. Die, please. Please die. Please die. No, I hate you. Oh my god, you guys are terrible. Okay, uh, let's use a, a thunder. No, let's let's go for the big one. Thundaga. Come on, Vivi, bring it on home. I really hope these guys aren't a normal run-of-the-mill enemy in this dungeon. And if so, we're gonna have a, a very difficult time. Wow! Die! Aerial slash is fine. Yeah, Vivi is invulnerable. Well, that's really good that we have Vivi in our party, then. Holy crap. We need to actually look at Vivi and equip him with a bunch of stuff, I believe, because I think he still has the old school stuff. Oh my god. When there's two level ups, it's so loud. Okay. Alright. First order of business. Phoenix down. Second order of business. Kiora. On uh, Dane. On Steiner. On Dagger. Okay, looking good. Now let's equip Vivi with some stuff here. Oh, we already did, didn't we? No, only the Octagon Rod. Okay, let's see if there's anything that's just blatantly good. Bandana, yes indeed. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep Vivi in our party for too long, so this isn't that big of a deal, but we just want to give him a little bit of a... Um jump start here. All right, we'll go with the Silk Rope and the Magician Shoes. Let's see. Desert Boots, no. Germinus Boots, no. Come on, something good. Rebirth Ring. Okay, let's go for that. Wait, wait, wait. What does he have that's... Oh, God, no. Did I just remove it? Was it the... Oh, what did he have that was absorbing? Well, we changed this. What did he have here? I forget. Oh, ice damage reduced. Raises wind, no. Okay, the only other thing we changed was the was this, and he had the judo vest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, I, is he just like, I don't know what's happening here, but we're gonna move on. <laughs> okay then, yeah, let's go this way. Zidane, it's Aiko. Kuja and the black mages are there too. Aiko, that must be the extraction spell. Idolin of eternal life, Idolin of infinite powers, arise from thy eternal slumber. Depart after something, let there be light, let there be life. The time has come, the time is now. W wait, dagger. I know. We all know how you feel. Come on, let's do it. That was odd. Odd that was. We failed again. Again we have failed. Did you make some mistake? Make mistake? I did not. Yours the mistake must be. I made no mistake at all. The truth, do you speak? Of course I speak the truth. Will you two just shut up? I I it's his fault. H his fault it is. The one who messed up is you. You're the one who messed up. I said shut up. I don't want to hear excuses. I sense power from within her. Continue the extraction. Continuing further will endanger the subject's life. Only at the edge of 16, at the age of 16, sorry, can Idolins be extracted? You two just don't get it. 
I need an Eidolon more powerful than Alexander. An Eidolon with the power to bury Garland. His powers are so incredible, I cannot even come close. I must destroy him before Terra's plan is activated, or my soul will no longer be my own. Who cares if she lives? I want that Eidolon! Koopo! Where did that come from? You, get out of our way! Master! Master! Koopo, well... Her pet Moogle's interfering with the extraction process. Certain are we that it caused the failure. Kill the run. We're running out of time. Koopo. Mog. No, Mog. Hide behind me. Mog? What is it? I go. Thank you for everything. Mog, what are you saying? Don't worry, Koopo. I will always be with you, Koopo. Mog! This way! Whoa! Mog! We will put you to death! Put you to death, we will! Oh, jeez. Are we fighting as Mog? Ooh, interesting. Mog! Aiko! Use Terra Homing, Kubo! Aiko! Okay! <laughs> this is confusing as heck! Not actually controlling any of this. Just FYI. Oh my god. What fate has befallen Zorn and Thorn? Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> I think they did. All that for almost for only like 4,000 damage. I wanted to be by your side, Aiko, so I became Mog. Don't worry, I'll always watch over you, Koopa. Aiko, are you okay? I'm all right. Mog saved me. I never knew that Mog was an Idolin. She always looked after me, disguised as a Moogle. Even though, even though she was weak. She fought her best to protect me. So that's what happened. Mog's ribbon. Mog. It's alright, Aiko. Mog will always watch over you. You're right. How can that... That Moogle went into a trance? Kuja! So, an eruption of anger against one's surroundings induces a complete trance. It's not the will to live, nor is it the desire to protect another. Man, you're really going off! Hello? That means I simply need a powerful soul, even if that soul is not my own. No, wait. And it can be found there. <laughs> Kuja, what are you plotting? I am done with you. W wait a minute. Vivi, look out! Don't worry, I hear these twins put on quite a good show. Of course, they're really not twins at all. Wait, what about the black mages? No, Vivi, it's too dangerous. Whoa. Zidane, something's wrong. I thought we defeated them. And here we have a boss battle on our hands. Oh god, not what I was expecting. What in the world is that? Oh my god, okay. All right, uh, let's summon Rama. Bio, um, let's attack the Melted Gemini. Use Bio on 
Whoa, 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 whoa. So, oh. Who's in a trance? The Dane's in a trance. Okay, um. Okay. Let's use Cura on Dagger. Wait, what's happening here? Okay, wow, this is confusing. All right. Let's see, how much did Judgment Bolt do? 810, okay. All right, it's better than nothing. Really need to use Zidane here. Wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, nice. Iko's almost dead too. Venom Powder. Okay, Um. let's see. Cura on Iko. Okay, so we have two healers here. Iko cures Dagger. And then Dagger will cure Iko. Steiner does, wow, almost 4,000 damage on his physical attack. Not bad. This might be an easy boss battle as well. What the hell just happened there? Oh, she died from poison. Okay, that's not good. Zidane's frozen in trance. That's also not good. Viral smoke. Now you're all carrying a virus too. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, uh, life on Iko. Damn you, Dagger! Oh my god. Not the time. Not the time to not be able to do your thing. What is happening to Zidane? I don't even see like a... I don't even see like a status effect thing on him. Wow. Alright, well this is not good. This is taking a turn for the worst. Extremely rapidly. I goes back to life, however. I just wish there was like a full party... There is a full party heal! I'm a dumbass! Oh my god, why did I forget that that exists? Oh god. Okay, uh, white magic cure, and then everybody. I don't. Why the hell did I forget that I could do this for so long? Jesus Christ. Alright, well, it looks like. Okay, well, then we're super OP. Holy crap. I hate you, Dagger, so much. Oh my god, you suck. You are the worst. Wow. Did we choose to have Dagger in this party? I forget. I think we did. Anyways, we'll just keep curing the whole party. Oh my god, she's not doing anything now. What is that, three commands in a row? Are you serious? Ugh. All right, well, let's try it again. Come on, Dagger. Venom Powder. All right, well, we can out-heal this if Dagger would just use her goddamn ability. I hate you. Oh my god, Dagger is the worst. Literally. Wow. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll use an item with Dagger, and then we'll keep healing with Ico. Uh, hopefully she... Unless we just... Okay, never mind. Easiest boss fight ever. <laughs> wow. All right. Bunch of AP for... Just Ico? Oh, the virus, I guess, doesn't allow us... We got two vaccines. What in the world? I don't remember any of this. Vivi, where's Kuja? Did he get away? Vivi? Everyone knew he was lying, but they still followed him. He said that our lifespans can't be extended and that we were fools for believing him. What? Kuja said that? I I'm so sorry for all I've done. You guys don't have to apologize. Where are the others? They were so shocked to hear it, they're all sitting down over there. Zidane! What am I supposed to tell them? Vivi. Hey, Vivi, where are you going? All I can do is just sit with them. That bastard. When I get my hands on him... Pardon me, but is someone there? Who might you be? Where has that Kuja gone? Oh, him. He split, lady. What? You chased him away. I know who not who you are, but you have my sincere gratitude. Could this be Princess Garnet? Why, it is! It is you! Oh, how long it has been. I haven't seen your highness for ages. Why, look how you've grown. So, whatever brought you to this dreadful place? Who is this lady? What's a friend of yours doing here anyway? Oh, my darling, Ribbit! Hilda, I finally found you, Ribbit!
I do not remember ever, ever marrying a toad. It, it's me, Ribbit. Sid! Of course, that mustache. It really is you. Hilda, come back to the castle, Ribbit, and return to my... Return me to my former, former self, damn it, Ribbit! Dreadfully sorry, my sugar cup, but I surrendered your favorite airship to a man named Kuja. Forget about it, Ribbit, as long as you're alright, Ribbit. Oh, my sweet froggy woggy. So, uh, you know Kuja? I'm gonna make him pay. Please tell me all about him. Very well, my dear. I shall teach you everything once we reach Lindblum. I shall tell you everything once we reach Lindblum. Ribbit, Kuja didn't touch you, did he? His soul was filled with hate, but he was polite to me. He just talked an awful lot. What about Ribbit? Well, he divulged his master plan to me. I didn't even have to ask. It was tiresome. But what he spoke of, it was truly a scene from a nightmare. What did he say? That he was not of this world. He said his aim was to use this world to acquire an even more destructive power. The, ta the taking of Hildegard I was a part of this process. We must tell Zidane about this, Ribbit. You have valuable information. Which led me to believe that my abduction wasn't a part of his plan. He was a hopeless narcissist, but... But at least he wasn't a skirt chaser like you. Ugh. You just hit me where it hurts most. Ribbit, I'm sorry about that. That's why I risked my life to save you. Oh, really? Are you sure you won't... Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Are you sure you weren't there to take back Hildegard 1? I'm not lying, Ribbit. I apologize. So please turn me back, Ribbit. I'm sick of being an oglop or a frog. I'll never cheat on you ever again, Ribbit. I promise. Can your words be trusted? I don't lie, Ribbit. I swear in my father's name. All right. I'll turn you back. But it's going to be much worse if you ever cheat on me again. I, I understand. Now turn me back. Maybe I'll turn you into a hedgehog pie. Er, please no, Ribbit. Now turn me back. All right. All right. Finally, Ribbit. I'm human again. Guac, I can concentrate on building Hildegard 3. Darn it. I must stop that. Dear. I'm sorry about everything, Hilda. Zidane. Hmm? Dagger? Mr. Zidane. Why are you calling me Mr. Zidane? Mr. Zidane, please get up! Oh, it was just a dream. What's up? Lady Hilda is calling a meeting. Please go to the conference room. Okay, I just wish I could have dreamt a little bit longer. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. A lot has transpired in this episode. Really good one. Oh, gosh. I love this game. <laughs> this game is so good. I, uh, I I, wonder. I wonder if I played all of the Final Fantasies that I played before. I do like this better than Final Fantasy VII. Um, I definitely do. Although, I do like the darker tone of Final Fantasy VII. Um, I like that. But... This is good, too. I like this game better than that. I need to play 8 again. But anyways, really enjoying how this game is going so far. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this Let's Play. We're going to end this episode here. And, of course, continue in the next one. And I will see you guys there. Bye-bye. <laughs>